Welcome everybody back to another episode of the Money Pot Betting Show, the flagship show where we talk about bets throughout the week and give you free bets. If you guys are just watching this, you like to get free bets, you like to win money, you like to talk sports betting, you like to talk football, you need to hit that subscribe, hit that follow button, hit that like button, come join your boys and get paid and get this bread because this is what we do. We're going to go to the late game. We're going to go, see them the Lions, the Lions roar. Wow, taking the Lions in Houston. Taking the Lions in Houston. I'm gonna, I'm I actually just like gonna, this bet. Stay on the hot train. I think Houston hasn't figured out what they can do as offensively. Mm -hmm. CJ Stroud is having a down year right now, or not the CJ Stroud we saw last year. But that has to do with his weaponry. Now that Diggs is out, you have um, Diggs is out. Um, Collins. Collins is out. Yep. Um, so it's just really Tank Dell out there. I just don't think that's enough for them. I think Detroit is going to – you're going to have to keep up with Detroit. They're going to put up 30. Um, and, you know, it's going to be a little bit too much for, for Houston Texans. So for me, I'll buy half a point here. I might just let it ride because I think Detroit will be able to kind of continue. They're fully healthy. Most importantly thing about Detroit is that their run game has some, seems to be unstoppable. Um, they have been hitting on all cylinders. And why would I get? why would I get in front of that? Hmm. Why would I get in front of Detroit Lions right now? You have to be a fool to get in front of the Lions, but you also have to be a fool not to see that short line and take advantage of it. So give me the Lions uh, like with the I spread. Like if I have to buy half a point, I will. Um, but, yeah, man, you're looking at the number one team and points scored. They're averaging 32 points a game, seventh uh, total yards. 15th against the pass, but most importantly, like I just said, they're rushing the ball and they're doing really well to two at a monster in Montgomery and um and uh the young fella uh, Gibbs. Gibbs. Yep. So give me give me the lines here. Yeah, I like it. I'll dig a little bit more into the player props. Um damn shit. 16 and a half for Gibbs seems light. No, I guess not. He's been running the ball well. Um, no, I like this play. I really do. Um, oh, damn, I'm on say Brown has scored in every game except for two. Matter of fact, it's a crazy stat that completion percentage between him and Amon St. Brown, I think over the past few weeks has been 100%. I think over 14 passes. He hasn't dropped the pass. There's been no incompletions to some crazy stat. Like, there's been no incomplete passes to Amon St. Brown when he throws on the ball. Let's see. Pretty, what is he, six and a half? Is, which is, is, is Winston still – is um, Jamison still out, or is he back in this game? Jamison? Not Jamison. Oh, no, he's out. He's out. Is Williams? He, yeah, Williams. Yeah, he's, he's out. Yeah. I think he has some, what, legal issues? Well, no, it says roster exemption lifted. Oh, it did? Okay. Was he playing? He's available for week 10. Jeez. Well, that, could you add that to it. Now you stretch the field even more. Goodness. Give me Detroit Lions and watch them roar. <laughs> yeah, I like this play. I'm going to follow suit. Um, just too much offense. Um, that line is – I think that line is off. They're not just a half a point better on this team. Um, this line should be more like four, four and a half. I get it. It's at home um, in Houston um, against a very good Houston team. And C.J. Stroud, I think, against teams and winning records, I think he's four or five and zero, oh, um, four or five and zero. Oh. Um, he hasn't lost against a winning team yet, so he finds ways to win. But when you look at that game against the Jets last game, um, that they, I think, did they win that one? Did they beat the Jets? No, they lost to the Jets. Yeah, they lost to the Jets when you on Thursday night. Yeah, so they, they do have a little bit more extra preparation. But when you look at this game that they they lost offensively, they had a tough time against a Jets defense that's really not as good as it, it was before. I mean, he only completed eleven balls. Six Tank Dell had six and one hundred twenty six yards. So he had. Schultz. Yeah, he C D Stroud had was eleven for thirty, bro. Yeah, that's all. They, I mean, because he doesn't have any other weapons now. Yeah, will he be able to extend the field a little bit more against Detroit? Yeah, because Detroit against the pass is not great, but I don't see him scoring thirty, which Detroit's going to score. So yeah, yeah, I like that play. I'm gonna write that down. Detroit minus three and a half. Uh, 